Squats are back. Hi folks, I'm Gino the Painting Acolyte, and welcome back to 5 Minute Miniature Mondays. This show was on hiatus for a bit as my life got really busy and I was trying to figure out my live stream setup, but we're back today to talk about the breaking Games Workshop news. The ever-discussed, much-memed-on, much-requested Space Dwarves are making a comeback to the 41st millennium, and it's not an April Fool's joke this time. Now, I haven't been in this hobby for too long, and I don't fo focus primarily on Warhammer 40k, but the sci-fi lovers amongst us might have heard of tales of these short kings in space, and some veteran hobbyists might have even collected some of their own. In the grim darkness of the far future, within the Imperium of Man, mutation and alienness is shunned and ostracized. However, certain human-ish aliens or mutants have been allowed to coexist within the Imperium of Man, like Rattlings or Ogrins. And, back in the day, Squats. Now, back in their conception, Squats were a part of the Imperium, a sort of human ish close enough subfaction within the Imperium of Man. However, in the information released by GW in the announcement posts, which I'll link below in the description, it seems like they're coming back in a unique way. Called the Legions of Votan, these space dwarves have their own spacefaring empire and their own takes and politics on life within the 41st millennium. They retain a lot of their beliefs and technology from the Age of Strife, a time in the 40k setting where technology was being developed rather than where it is now, where technology is being recovered, and nothing new ever happens. Now, squats have been rumored and requested for years and years and years since they were discontinued way back in the day. For whatever reason, folks really loved having their goofy space dwarfs, and you know, I really can't blame them for that. The teaser trailer for these dwarfed up shorties was posted on April 1st, but then it turned out to actually be a real, legitimate reveal trailer. A nice, clever double April Fool's bluff from Games Workshop. The very next day, they posted an article talking a little bit about the faction and its return, and talking a little bit about how clever they were for their April Fool's joke, and they released an image of a single uh, model from the line. I gotta say. Dude's looking nice. The return of squats has been rumored for a while. There's a leak going around the internet that has up until this point been about like 90% accurate in its uh, reveals and predictions about what's to come. And squats were listed as a uh, returning thing at the tail end of this, this leak's description. And it seems that that glorious day has finally come for the squat fans amongst us. Now, I always thought that if they brought back these spacefaring fellows, they'd come back in the form of just like a kill team or a small one-off box and that would kind of be it. But it seems that that's not going to be the case. But no, fans of Gromroll Gold have been blessed by Daddy James Workshop, who have revealed that this faction is coming back wholly as a complete, separate, individual, their own faction. They're gonna have their own units, their own rules, their own place in this universe. They're being described as sort of allies with the Imperium, but distinctly not the Imperium of Man. These dwarves have their own ideas about the state of the galaxy and their place in it. Personally, I never really cared too much about the hype for squats. I wasn't around back when they were a thing, and while I like dwarves, the old squat models were kinda goofy looking. But with the model reveal for this new range, I'm pretty intrigued about what this might become. Personally, I'm hoping for a lot of kit bash potential with my Caradron Overlords. They already borrow a lot of themes with sci-fi models on their own right, and it'll be really cool to see what bits and pieces I can take from both model lines and kind of bash them into something cool and unique on their own. I also like the idea of the League of Votan kind of existing as a foil to the Imperium of Man within the Warhammer 40k setting. Kind of existing as living proof that the Imperium of Man's fanaticism and fascism aren't a necessary thing for a human-like faction to exist in that setting. It'd be really cool to have that kind of foil to the Imperium. What do you think, though? Are you excited about the return of squats? Do you like the model? Are you interested in seeing more models? Do you not care for it? Why or why not? Let me know your thoughts on the short kings of space in the comments below. I'm Gino the Painting Acolyte, and this has been 5 Minute Miniature Mondays. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Take care, folks.